What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm down at Foreign Cars Italia. We're gonna take a look at the 2021 Ferrari Roma. So massive shout out to them for providing this supercar for me today. I'll have all their information down in the description below. Definitely check them out because they have a huge selection of new and used inventory. But the Roma that you see behind me is finished off in black and it has an MSRP just over $270,000. And so to start off today's review, we're gonna take a look at what powers the Roma. So we do need to get to the interior. This is the key fob for the Roma. You can see it's finished off in leather. We have unlock, lock, and then Roma down at the bottom. So with the vehicle locked, all I need to do is place my hand into the door handle. So you actually go all the way up and in, and from there it will unlock and we can open up the door. And then down below, of course, in the footwell, this is how we pop the hood. So we can get a sneak peek of this interior. It has a very nice design to it. But making our way to the front, there is a latch up underneath. We can move on to this mid-mounted 3.9 liter twin turbo V8. This is paired to the eight speed dual clutch transmission. It produces 612 horsepower around 7,500 RPM and 561 pound-feet of torque right around 3,000 RPM. This is rear-wheel drive. It weighs in right around 3,600 pounds. It'll do zero to 60 in just over three seconds, up to its top speed of 199 miles an hour. It also has a fuel capacity of 18 gallons, so you can expect to see around 17 miles per gallon in the city and 22 out on the highway. And this has an overall wheelbase of 105.1 inches. Its overall length is 183.3. It has a width of 77.7 and a height of 51.2 inches. So to start off on the exterior for the all new Roma, this is actually the second V8 front engine GT Coupe in Ferrari's history. The first model was the GTC4 Lusso, which came just before the Ferrari FF, which were all V12s. So this is the second V8 GT Coupe and it has a very nice exterior design. I love all of the lines. We're gonna start off with the fender arch that also extends to the hood. So you can see that large bulge, along with the lines running down the hood too, which just gives it a very cool look. This model also has LED headlights, LED DRLs and turn signals. And you can see the DRL slash turn signal runs right through the middle of the headlight and the high beam. And they have a sleek design to them just to match this sleek front end. There's plenty of cutouts too in this grill to provide maximum cooling, as well as the parking sensors that are nicely integrated. You can see all of the mesh in the lower section as well. Just really nice lines overall, especially running just underneath the lower section of the grill. This model has a really nice set of 20 inch wheels. We have the carbon ceramic brakes with the yellow brake calipers. Just a really nice combo with this exterior black. You can see we have the power folding side mirrors, which are currently up at the moment, as well as the Ferrari badge. Very clean lines running down the side profile. You can see the side skirt too, just at the bottom there. It has a really nice sloping rear glass to it to give it that coupe design. And as we finish up in the rear here, we have a backup camera with parking sensors. Of course, this has LED taillights. And you can actually see too that the design in the taillight matches well with the top section of the trunk. So you can almost see it's a continuous line running from the taillights through the trunk all the way to the other set of taillights. We have the quad tip dual exhaust down below with a really nice diffuser. You can see those aggressive lines right in the center. And this also has an active spoiler. There are three different settings. The highest setting will produce 209 pounds of downforce at 155 miles an hour. And as you can see right now, it is hidden away. So it just gives it more of a clean look. You can also see just how wide this car is from the rear end. So we have the wide front fender arches. We have the massive rear fender arches. It just gives it a great look. And now it's time to move on to the interior. So we have that same door handle. Just have to put my hand in there. And now we can look at this door panel. It has a really nice design to it with the black leather, the Alcantara, really nice brown leather too running right through the middle, which matches these seats. This also has a JBL audio sound system. You can see all the memory seating adjustments as well as the trunk release. There's a little bit of storage space too in the lower section and even carbon fiber trim surrounding the entire speaker. Just to give it a great look, we have the electronic button to be able to open the door. You'll see Ferrari down below as well as carbon fiber on the door sill trim piece. And then that leads us on to these beautiful leather seats. They have a great design to them, really nice side bolstering support. We have some more controls down on the bottom. You can also see Roma down on the floor mat. So that's a great touch to see. And so now it's time to work our way to the interior on the Roma. You'll see that Alcantara door panel there has a really nice design to it. We have Ferrari Roma on the 16 inch digital gauge cluster there. 
You can see the steering wheel has carbon fiber and leather, really nice design to it, flat bottom design too. There's also a shift light in the upper section. Of course, we have the Ferrari badge right in the center. So with my foot on the brake, we're gonna push on the engine start stop area there and fire this up. And then looking at this digital gauge cluster, you'll see front and center, we have the tack, as well as what gear you're in, your miles per hour. On the left side, you can see some vitals, as well as the radio. There's also the fuel level too, odometer, you have some lighting settings too. You'll see over on the right side, currently we have the navigation pulled up, and you can actually adjust all of this using these controls over on the right side of the steering wheel. So they are touch sensitive, as I just touched that, you see them come to life here. And if I use this middle icon now, you can pull up the radio, I can swipe over back to the navigation, you can also pull up some other settings, look at your TPMS, and just by swiping up or down, you can go through all of this. So looking at your G-force meter, you can look at some averages as well. You can also pull up the navigation in full screen. So if I click on view max, now you can see that. So if, of course, if you're going to a destination, you can get some better graphics for that entire nav, which is great to see. You'll also notice too that by pushing on that again, we have the tack right in the middle. So you can see that adjust there. We have the G-force meter. Just gives you a little bit more of a cool view, especially when you're in race mode. And you can adjust all the different modes. Just by switching that, you can go to sport mode. There's also comfort, a wet mode. And then the last one, you can turn off your ESC. So you have a few different driving modes depending on how you're going to drive your Roma. You'll also notice too, we have the turn signals on the left and the right. There's also the wiper blade controls. Over on the left side is Bluetooth and cruise control. And then we have some automatic headlight adjustments too. And then of course we have the ginormous column mounted carbon fiber paddle shifters, which are gonna be really good to get out on the road and see how they perform. On the left side of the steering wheel, we have the electronic parking brake, as well as all the side mirror controls along with parking sensors. You can also see the engine start stop feature, which this model has. So it's really nice to see just by pushing on that button, you can see it light up so that way you know you are on the correct mirror. You'll see there's one air vent. We have more leather covering the dash there. You'll also see it continue over to the passenger side where Roma is spelled out. And then right in the middle, we have the 8.4 inch touchscreen system. So there's a few things that you can go through within the system. Currently, you can see it's on the radio. We can go to phone when that is paired. You can pull up the navigation on the system if you'd like to. And then the last thing is climate. So of course we have the temperature, fan speed, everything like that, your research down below. You can see the temperatures too. And then up top, you can adjust volume for the radio. You can see there's a clock too. And then working your way below that, you'll see a hazard button. We have the side window controls. And then right in the middle, this is how you go through all of the gears. So on the left side, we have reverse. You have manual setting right in the middle. And then PS is for launch control, just by pushing this button all the way up. And then in order to put this vehicle into gear, so currently we're basically in neutral or in park, all I have to do is pull on this right paddle. You can see that puts us into first gear. And then you can hold on both of the paddles to go into neutral. And then use that e-brake to basically put it into park. We'll go ahead and push on this button here for reverse. You'll see the backup camera actually lights up on the digital gauge cluster where you can see the top down sensors over on the right side as well. And then to put it into drive, again, you just pull on that paddle. You'll see we have one cup holder right in the middle, a little bit of storage space on the driver's side here. We also have a nice center armrest, a lot of storage space with a 12 volt and a few auxiliaries. So you can actually charge some electronics and have a good amount of space for any items you'd like to place there. We do have a traditional glove box where you can put even more items and you can see everything is covered in more Alcantara to give it a really nice design. We'll take another look at these seats here. And the Roma is also a two plus two. So that means we have back seats. So just by pushing on this electronic button, we can open up the door. And now take a look at the back seats. Now you won't be buying the Roma for a full four seater vehicle, but if you do need to use these, we're gonna see how practical they are. So you'll see the seat automatically move forward. And at five foot 10, I'm going to work my way into the back seat here where I actually have a decent amount of room for my feet and my legs. I don't know how far the seat is going to go back right now, so I'm going to leave it like that. And my head is up against the headliner right now. Like I said, you're not going to be putting people back here often, but if you had a third or fourth person with you, 
it makes it functional. You can put in another person if you really needed to. And these back seats also fold down too, giving you a lot more space into the rear trunk area. You have a little bit of storage right in the middle where you could place another phone. It's really nice to see all of the leather and the tan also continues on to the back, giving it a great two-tone design. And so now it's time to take a look at the trunk because we have a lot more space in the back here. So just up underneath, I can push on this button here to release it and you'll see just how low this load height is. So if you have some items, you know, groceries, whatever it may be, this is a super low load height, so that way you can easily place all your items in the back. You can see we have a cover on the left side just to give you a perspective how much room is in here with those back seats up. You can see if we go all the way in, we do have a small shelf, and then folding those seats down gives you a lot more storage. So it's really nice to see. We have some toolkits and some other items up underneath. And then on the underside of the trunk lid here, we have all these specifications for this model. So you can see the 20 inch forged wheels, Apple CarPlay, the yellow brake calipers, all of the stereo, the carbon fiber, and all that equipment. So it's pretty cool to see that. We do have one grab handle up underneath, so that way we can at least close it about halfway. And then from there, close it the rest of the way. All right, so getting the all new Ferrari Roma out on the road. There's a few minor things on the interior that I forgot to mention before we start driving this. One is that there's a large storage area just underneath the center stack here. So you can put some phones or whatever. There's a small lip so you can hide even more items down there. And we even have that same slot over on the passenger side. So this is a very, very practical daily driving supercar that has all the bells and whistles that you want, as well as having basically the sound and the drive that you're looking for. So we are in uh, normal mode at the moment. We're gonna pop it over to manual mode so we can use these paddle shifters and go down to second gear. Let's listen to this. Wow. Now this is not a very loud car-ish. We're in comfort mode right now. Okay, maybe I lied. But coming around this turn here, this car is so planted. Let's pop it over into a race mode now. We will not go to the last setting, which is the traction control. <laughs> Even powering around this turn at the moment. Oh, it is such a fun driving car. The steering input is amazing. I mean, I'm not even turning it and we're gonna go exactly where this wants to go. I mean, there's that much feedback in the steering wheel. It's just a beautifully specced interior. I love how this interior is. I love the layout of it. All of these buttons are much different than what I'm used to, having basically the touch sensitive pad versus an actual physical button. But I think it's cool. It just shows Ferrari's going to that next level of technology. We have this massive digital gauge cluster with all this information. I love how large it is. It's crystal clear to read. This thing has so much more potential. But at the same time too, just driving it on the roads that I'm on right now, it's actually been surprisingly comfortable. It's a very nice grand touring car, if you wanna call it that. We do have some practicality with the back seat area there. We have the trunk space. You can drive this every single day if you want to and just kind of relax. And it's like you're in a normal vehicle. But then if you want to, can have some fun like that and wow this is such a cool car I love everything about it it just it's really nice to drive the seating position is great we have a great visibility too it's really easy to see over your left and right shoulder now with these smaller windows in the back and the pillars there yes there might be a little bit of a blind spot uh, I own an Audi R8 which has worse uh, visibility than this but you get used to where all your blind spots are if there are any and where to look and things like that so now it's time to get our POV angle behind the Ferrari Roma. Like I said, this is such an amazing car to be behind the wheel of. Time to start it up. All you have to do is place your finger there. You basically don't really have to push it that hard because you do have that touch sensitive haptic feedback. So I'm gonna pull on both of the paddles right now. That is for neutral. And then from there, pull on the right paddle for first gear and we can set off. We are in automatic, so just pull on that middle release there. And now we are in the manual setting. The ground clearance on this is actually pretty good, making it 
much nicer for a daily. Pretty much drive it anywhere. This is such a comfortable car to drive. <laughs> and even going slow, we are still in race mode. You can hear that exhaust. Real quick visibility check so you can see from this angle here. It's pretty decent all around. We have these massive carbon paddle shifters too. There we go. All right, so let's switch to the GoPro angle here. is such a quick car and that's not even doing any of its full potential but for the new ferrari roma it's really nice to see ferrari bringing back a grand touring model but nonetheless this is still a quick car and i could see going on long highway cruises there's no road noise there's no wind noise it's a really really nice spot to be But I think that's gonna wrap it up for my walk around review and test drive, getting behind the wheel of this 2021 Ferrari Roma. Once again, massive shout out to Foreign Cars Italia for providing this supercar for me today. Make sure you check out their info. All that is down in the description. And if you enjoyed this Ferrari review, give it a huge thumbs up and consider smashing that subscribe button if you'd like to stay up to date on our daily uploads. I'll see you guys in the next video.